Cool. Good morning, everyone. So um, thank you very much for, for joining this webinar um, on it's an introduction to, to ArcServe. So my name is Chris Watson. I'm the uh, product sales manager for ArcServe here at CMS Distribution. Um, I've got a long history um, within ArcServe myself. I've been managing the brand um, probably for um, six out of the last eight years or something like that. So, you know, I've been working with the team for quite a long time. Um, ArcServe themselves have been going for um, in excess of 30 years. CMS have been distributing the brand for in excess of 20 years. Um, of all the um, backup brands that are out there, I strongly believe, and we'll, we'll show and demonstrate on this call, um, that ArcServe probably have the uh, broadest portfolio of data protection products out there. So whatever your end user customer wants to do, 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, ArcServe have got a solution or even a, a range of solutions for that customer to tick that box and, and protect and, and manage their data. Um, you know, I've been very much involved with it since ArcServe were born out of CA since 2014. Uh, since then, growth has been absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm just going to hand over now to a gentleman called Bruce Hawkin, who is the uh, Channel Sales Director for EMEA for ArcServe. And he's just going to go through and um, yeah, tell us all about the ArcServe team and how how we can help you guys to to make some good margin and some good money by selling ArcServe. So over to you, Bruce. Thank you, Chris. Much appreciated. Good morning, everyone. Yes, as Chris mentioned, my name is Bruce Hocking. Um, I am a fairly new um, Amir Channel Sales Director to ArcServe, joining in uh, in March this year. This is actually my first opportunity to present a, a new new deck to you that we've. Uh, change really to help us focus less on product but more on how you can create value uh, and what's in it for you as our partners and the cms as partners as well so um, i'd be really interested to get your feedback at the end of this um, either via the via the chat or whatever it is or community here, here are my details please get in touch uh, please get in touch with chris that would be fantastic too um, so i really just want the opportunity to briefly take you through a deck but you know it's not going to focus on speeds and feeds and product it's only going to focus on how you can create opportunity what's in it for you where you should be looking for those sorts of propositions as well because the one thing that i would really like you to get from the end of this is not how great we are because we know we're good we know we're really good but where you can go and find one customer that you could take this proposition to that's really, really important because if you're going to invest your time and thank you for investing your time with us this morning, you're going to want to know that there's someone out there who wants to buy it. So we're going to help you hopefully um, identify that one customer or maybe more that you can have a go and have a, a conversation with. So let me see if I can actually make this work. Here's a little statement from one of our um, platinum channel partners. Um, I got this off him validated half an hour ago um, but you know he said as a partner you want to be able to sell next gen solutions at a great price which enable a variety of use cases and i suppose you know that is ultimately very important you want something that is compelling not just technically but also commercially too you want to know that it's better than the competition you want to be inspired by that, but also to know that there are a bunch of use cases and that it's not a niche product. There are so many competitors in this space, particularly some of the new ones that are uh, so niche, you'll never end up selling it. When you do find that opportunity, you'll make five points on it. With us, we're completely different. It is a fantastic opportunity for the channel. And enabling a variety of use cases means you can invest with us and find a great new pipeline of business that's high margin, and right now in the market that we find ourselves in that's really super important so let me tell you why arcserve because if i want you to look at the rest of this presentation you're going to want to know that it's worthwhile so partners who sell arcserve make more money it's a fact uh, we offer very predictable margins actually and most of our partners make an average of between 25 to 30 percent sometimes up to 35 percent um, and we still manage to do that base with exceptionally competitive pricing. And when I say exceptional, one of our mantras is delivering enterprise class technology for SMB prices. 
And we, on top of those um, great margins as well, we also offer some crazy spiffs and rebates, which means that it's a really compelling commercial opportunity for your business as a partner um, to invest in ArcServe and work with us to drive net new business. We solve more customer problems. You know, we're not a born in the cloud organization um, that only solves cloud issues. We're not a company that started a few years ago and only solves virtualized issues. We actually have a proposition that supports over 300 modern and legacy applications, whether they're physical, virtual, hybrid, pure cloud. We can do all of that and support those transformation initiatives with inside your customers. And we're the only business continuity solution that exists that is secured by Sophos. And we'll come on to why that's important later, because our competitors don't and they're leaving a massive security hole in your customer's infrastructure. And also, we're here to help you win over your competition. We support the full range of SLAs and our recovery time and recovery point objectives, absolutely. But we don't get shut out of price wars. Far from it, we're always involved in those sorts of opportunities. Our biggest challenge is that we're never involved in enough. Um, we're quite a small organization that has the scale opportunity. So we need more partners promoting our solutions. One of the interesting things is that we win when we're involved in a bake-off <clears throat> or we're given that opportunity to show our technology to a customer. We win eight out of 10 deals against Veeam. In fact, I think it's nearer to nine. And those sorts of ratios are actually exist across many, many other vendors, including the likes of Veritas and Commvault and Acronis and Data as well. And I'll come on to some details about that later. So let me give you a bit of background. Um, oh, we've all heard this enough, so I'm going to put the slide up. Normally what I'd put up is, uh, you know, what do you know about data protection? But that's not relevant right now. The new normal is relevant right now. What's, what's happening in this market space? We've seen a very, very challenging quarter across the entire IT industry. And, you know, it's, it's not just us that has tried to power through that. And we've done a really, really good job with our partners as well. It's the whole industry. And what are they seeing? Well, they're seeing challenges around security awareness and certainly a greater amount of investment in that space. So you're going to want to know how we can support that, I guess. We're seeing a huge move to remote working. I mean, I think in, 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 in late March and early April, those were the only conversations that I had with partners. How do we do remote working? And then those were what, those were the conversations that were being driven by those end users. And it was very, um, quick. It was very, we're ditching everything. We're sorting out remote working. Don't talk to us for a month. But actually, what we're going to see long term is a move to a more strategic home working initiative. We're going to see more digital transformation. You know, we're already talking about how this second wave might affect us. But regardless of COVID, I think it's helped a lot of organizations understand that they can actually, having been forced into the situation, they can actually work effectively from home. But what does that mean to the infrastructure? What does that mean in terms of managing um, operations 24 seven because home working facilitates that now. So that's important that we address that opportunity. And people don't want any risk anymore. You can't take risk when your business is on a knife edge. They don't want risk, but they absolutely need 100% availability. They don't want to invest in some crazy idea because um, they can't afford to do that anymore. They want rock solid technology that they know is going to 100% available for their business because that's going to support their initiatives moving forward, that new shift that we're going to see. And guess what? They're going to do all of this with restricted or deferred budgets. Well, that's a big problem. And we're in a great position to support that. So let me please tell you about three compelling solutions that align against those strategies. The first one is that we have, and you know, this, by the way, these are three compelling solutions. We have lots of compelling solutions, but you know, Ultimately, I don't have to tell you about all of them um, because all the messaging will get lost. So I'm going to just focus on three. The ultimate breach recovery solution. We are the last line. Data protection is the last line of defense against anti-ransomware, which ensures 24-7 business operation. But there's a big challenge with that. I'm going to tell you how we support that. 
Secondly, we're going to show you how we can extract the value of cloud. If your customers are moving on digital transformation projects and moving into cloud environments, whether that's an IaaS or a PaaS type environment, which they're probably looking to do, they're probably looking to do it in a hybrid way, not shift their entire infrastructure up there. And that is a big old challenge. And I'll come on to that too. And in addition to that, critical online and critical line of business applications, ERP systems, databases, the requirement for them to be available 100% of the time is going to be huge. So it's not just a case of snapshotting backups and recovery where you're down for, you know, like four, eight hours a day, maybe. It's about how do you make sure you don't lose any data and your services are running continuously? And that is now a big, big challenge for organizations, particularly further up the food chain. So I want to talk to you about that too. So the ultimate breach recovery solution. Ransomware is now the go-to attack method. It's the easiest way to monetize um, uh, criminal activity, criminal cyber activity. That is a huge cost that has had to be absorbed by our industry and our customers. So what are our options if you get hit by a ransomware attack? Well, you can either don't pay, and that's a really expensive thing to do. It might not seem it initially, but with the, the average cost of a ransomware attack approaching well in excess of half a million dollars for an enterprise organization, you know, you've got loss of productivity, loss of brand equity, that sort of thing. It's a huge damage to the reputation of a firm. So that's why a lot of people choose to pay. And in fact, it's much cheaper to pay. The problem with paying is you don't actually necessarily get all your data back. I mean, it's quite evident that you don't sometimes <laughs> you've spent your money. Big problem. Um, but in addition to that, if you pay, there's no reason you wouldn't pay again and again and again. So that's not entirely the best way that you want to do it. The best way that you want to actually do it is not get hit in the first place. And whether that's investing at the front end, which most organizations do, or at the back end, which is where we can support businesses. So at the back end, the quickest way to restore your services if you get hit by a ransomware attack is to knock down your servers, restore it from a backup, you're down for a few hours, but you get an instant recovery with a clean solution. The problem with that is, is that most hackers have now worked out that that's the go-to way of cleaning up their environment. It's your customer's environment. So they go and knock the backups out first with ransomware. That's a big old challenge. We can fix that. Our relationship with Sophos protects our application environment, but it also sanitizes the backups at the same time, which means that your customer can restore with confidence their backed up environment to eliminate the threats of ransomware. But it doesn't come at this huge cost. All you're doing is replacing a legacy environment. You should do it now. Your customers should do it now. If they're two, three years into their customer current backup environment, get it out. Get us in, we'll be cheaper than their renewals anyway. We can absolutely protect them against ransomware. Why would they have a backup solution that doesn't protect them against ransomware? And I'm not talking about the mean way of doing it, which is being able to identify spikes in traffic so you know that there's a problem and let a third party remediate against that. I'm talking about stopping it dead in its tracks straight away. That is the way that we should be pushing solutions moving forward. Taking out the backup, you know, let's be honest, backup has been around for ages. It's not exciting. We need compelling solutions to get our customers to invest in what we do. And absolutely, ArcServe delivers that in spades above our competition. And that security is available at no extra cost and all the other benefits that you get as well with, um, with ArcServe as a solution. So look at the extracting the value of cloud. Problem is, is Adding cloud creates complexity because you know, you're so used to managing or your customers are used to managing on-premise solutions. Um, built in the cloud vendors can't support the existing environment. So as you migrate, you're normally dealing with two systems, three systems for backup and recovery that create increased indirect cost. You have to have more skills, it increases risk. It's a bit of a problem. So what can we do to help that? Well, we have physical, virtual, and SaaS based platforms, which we can combine under one management system and one interface, which means you can help your customer with a migration to cloud services without compromising the integrity of their backup solutions. And it's all one system. 
our competitors largely cannot do anything like that and provide that level of comfort that we can. And in addition to that, right now, this is a huge thing. It's a huge challenge. People don't think about backups when they're going to the cloud. They think about all sorts of other things like, you know, how it's going to drive productivity and how it's going to simplify everything. It doesn't do that. Well, it might drive productivity. And people have a range of different reasons, but they never really think about how do I manage the back end? How do I keep it secure? How do I make sure it's available? And we can certainly help with that. And in addition to that, we can look at continuous availability too. Here are some stats. Stats are stats. Ultimately, um, customers want their critical application data back quickly. And a traditional backup doesn't necessarily allow them to do that, but continuous availability from Arcserve does. It's a streaming service, which means that within a split second, you know the data on one infrastructure, your, your, your replicated infrastructure is identical to that of your primary infrastructure. And you can keep that business and operation running 24 seven. Now, there's some pretty cool customers that buy that technology from us. There's some names that you might be familiar with up there. Now, this isn't our traditional heartland, and I wouldn't expect for a second for you to walk us into organizations like that. But, you know, we put it up. It's quite compelling. It shows that we've got a good proposition. The most important thing is that it's not just those type of customers, too. I was speaking to a partner the other day at a customer in an NHS trust that required 300 virtual machines to be streamed. Now, they originally looked at this uh, less than a year ago with Zerto, and the deal was half a million, and it broke their budget. They couldn't do it. But we are 60% less than that cost. And suddenly that initiative's back on the table. One NHS trust, not even a big one, with 300 virtual machines, 200,000 pounds deal there. It's a huge, huge opportunity not just in these big guys, but as you scale down through the mid-market too. Yes, we have happy customers. And interestingly, the majority of those customers, um, they operate um, in the public sector, 60% 60, 60 of our business is in the public sector. And health actually, um, in the last quarter, has uh, overtaken uh, manufacturing as our biggest vertical market. But we're strong in county councils, we're very, very strong in education too. So if you have customers in this space, we're hugely referenceable and we'd be very happy for you to speak to um, our customers and our partners' customers in this space. And we've got some pretty powerful alliances too that are coming along. We're, we're starting a major initiative with AWS where we can back up services, air gap services into their environment. We already have that relationship with Microsoft. The Sophos thing is big for us as well. And we also partner a number, with a number of HCI and storage partners as well that can help drive new initiatives in customers and keep costs down but be really compelling too so <coughs> that's really telling you about what we do but what's in it for you i mean you know ultimately you might have looked at this and thought okay well that looks interesting but what do i get out of it well you know for firstly you've got to identify what the common partner challenges are the things that you see every day the limitations of other backup problems project products i mean in the enterprise, you can mix and match and you can do best practice and they've got lots of resources and lots of money to make that work for them. But you qualify out of mid-market and SMB opportunities if that, if that is your go-to-market strategy because of budget, because of complexity. That is a major problem for a partner. You know, do you really want to manage three or four solutions to be able to win one-off big enterprise deals? No, not necessarily. You've got margin limitations with established vendors. The amount of times I've heard Veeam partners turn to me and go, hmm, I'm making 4% on my back, you know, my backup renewals. That's not good. Right now, that backup business is the critical run rate business that you're going to rely on, and you're going to make 4% out of it. That's not cool. We can help you. We're running initiatives that allow you to make 30% out of swapping Veeam. Now, actually, <laughs> I lie, now it's 50% margin for partners swapping Veeam out for us. And that initiative's coming right now. You know, we don't take deals direct. We're a 100% two-tier channel player. And we respect partners' initiatives and the opportunities they bring us through deal registration that allows them to maintain significantly higher margins than our competition. Obviously, for a lot of people, there are a lack of initiatives as well. Our initiatives and incentives support partners of all different sizes and reward them for the value that they bring to us. 
and we provide through distribution and directly we provide great technical resource too which is often lacking through more established vendors so let's come back to why partners choose ArcServe, and i'll make it quick because i know i'm going on we're 100 percent channel no exceptions to that we offer high margins great initiatives and rebate programs we also offer fast start and a fast start is a great opportunity for our partners um, it allows us to move partners up to the, the third tier we have four tiers of partners move them up to the third tier the gold tier straight away based on the business plan and we can protect that discount and value for six months while our partners ramp up we're a great land and expand opportunity get us in there with a bit of software around a project and we can consolidate with an appliance we can integrate cloud services we can look at continuous streaming on certain things we offer a 3x grow off the initial deal with a land and expand so just think about what you can do to drive net new business in your customers when you've got that opportunity and what i've been here for, well it's just coming on four months i guess soon what has been very very clear to me is that we're a very accessible organization our distributors and particularly cms are a very accessible organization we're helpful we make it easy but most important fun to do business with i think that's a big challenge right now. I'm certainly hearing that from our competitors. They're getting very, very aggressive because they're struggling. And as a result of which, it's not exciting to do business. In fact, it's annoying some of our channel partners. And we are here to help you move away from that, to make it interesting to do business. Because Christ, don't we need it to be good right now? Um, certainly over the next year, you want to make sure that we're enjoying ourselves as we write good, high, profitable business. So how can we support you? We've got a bunch of tools, case studies and wind wires, a mobile app, incentive programs, marketing content, mini health checks that drive demand and existing customers, a business continuity piece around COVID-19 and online technical demos that customers can figure to what they want. We've got teams coming out of our ears to support you and we've got a five-star rated channel partner program with deal registration, lots of competitive information, online training, and a whole heap of good stuff. So I don't really want to skip past that, but I'm mindful of time. But look, we do stuff that helps you drive net new business. And you can trust us. We've been around 35 years. We've got 65,000 end users, customers. We're in 150 countries globally. We're endorsed by the people that count, and we win lots of awards. So, you know, if you haven't heard of ArcServe before, don't panic. We're in a great situation to help you build your business. The one thing we haven't done as an organization particularly well is market ourselves. I think, you know, that's because of our legacy and because we were sat with inside CA for so long. Coming out of that, we, weren't, we, we operate like a startup, but we don't have the funding that some of these bigger guys get, that 100, 200 million, go and smash your money at the wall of marketing. That's not what we're about. So we're a trusted partner, but we need your help in pushing our message out to those markets. And your reward for that is super margins and doing great business. So how do you hit the bullseye with us? Um, if you were to walk away from here and go, right, okay, what, what, what should I be looking for? What's gonna create that, that compelling opportunity? Our best market size to focus on is 100 to 200, uh, sorry, 100 to 2,500 IT users. I'd describe that as mid-market predominantly, but large SMB through to the smaller enterprise. That's where we win. That's where the majority of our success is. And if you look at the verticals that we do that in, like I said earlier, 60% of that is in healthcare, local government and education. We've also got um, quite a strong proposition around manufacturing, construction. And so what surprised me actually was we were brilliant in finance. Um, not tier one, but the smaller finance houses. Absolutely fantastic because they need a trustworthy organization that they can make sure in the uh, event of a failure can deliver that data back to them. Really, really important. So if you're looking for projects and you're looking to ask your, your, your customers, what sort of thing are they, they looking to do over the next year now that they're starting to maybe move out of that COVID, uh, frightened COVID phase, look for these projects, any backup refreshes every three to four years, your customers will, will change their backup environment or renew and refresh it. So therefore, 25 to 33% of your customers every year do this. Are they, are they getting involved in a backup refresh? Many of those customers are getting hit by crazy expensive renewals as that's the only way some of the legacy 
uh, organizations that are able to maintain their foothold in customer spaces. It's by driving more revenue out of existing customers. And they do that by just annoying them, to be perfectly frank, by hitting them with crazy ass expensive renewals. We can get around that. We've got programs that allow us to go in and be better than their renewal costs for brand new technology. So it's fantastic. We also look at disaster recovery solutions. If your customers have been hit by ransomware, big opportunity. I couldn't believe it the other day. I was sat chatting to an organization that's strong in, in, um, in education. And um, I was mentioning the whole uh, Sophos thing and the ransomware piece. And I said, oh, it wouldn't be interesting to you, would it? You know, dismissively, stupidly dismissively. And he went and turned around and went, no, we've got two major schools that have been hit by ransomware and they've paid in the side the last year. Not in the side of last year, sorry. No, last quarter. And um, he took us straight in there and we've got meetings with both of them because they want to know how they're not going to get hit again. And that's really important. People are doing cloud migration. I haven't mentioned 365 security, actually. And that is kind of a compelling solution because most people don't even realize that they've got to back up 365. In fact, hardly any of them do. Um, it's taken as read that it's available, but it's not. And backing up Office 365 is a key opportunity because 56% of people globally use Office 365. And that means that you can approach most customers and talk to them about that, that opportunity. And beating the competition, yes, I mentioned these, the, the, uh, the data earlier, but I pulled this direct off our, our analysts out of the States. And um, these are actually EMEA numbers, not US numbers. So you can see when we're in a bake-off type environment where we're testing in front of a customer, those are our win rates. So if you ask your customers whether they have these technologies, and by the way, quite a few companies are struggling right now um, to deliver value to their end users. Go in and ask the question, because you know that if you go in and ask the question and say, are you looking for a backup refresh? Do you run V? The chances in if you introduce us and get us to a competitive situation, we will win and we will win with big margins for you. And right now, don't we all need big margins and good new business to win? So here are some of our silver bullets, things that you need to know about our technology that will really, really help you. And these are the sorts of things you can drop into conversations. And I'll list them all. Um, we have a built-in deduplication solution. Now, why would I mention that? Because it doesn't sound sexy and fun. It is because of what it means to a customer's TCO. It's our biggest strength above all our main competitors. It saves companies an awful lot of money on back-end storage. So it massively reduces TCO. So it's not just about have I got something of a similar price to someone else? You know, imagine we were 10,000 pounds each as our solution. That'd be a small solution, but imagine you were competing in a situation where 10,000 pounds each. Because of what we can do around backend storage and reduction of costs and simplification, we can significantly reduce our overall cost to a customer by including the, that sort of infrastructure piece that they invariably renew as they renew their backup anyway, because you know, their environment's changing. So that is a huge opportunity, and we win there. We win because of our Sophos relationship, because we're the only people doing anti-ransomware properly. So you know when you're in a customer that's got a problem around ransomware, we can help you win that business. We have a thing called assured recovery, and this is something that um, some of our competitors do, but it is quite important. The amount of times that we've heard partners say, oh, my customer's backup failed. Assured recovery is an automated a uh, test that we use in our premium software that helps our end users validate their recovery policies by con consistently testing their environment. And you can provide documented insight to your executives that this system works should, should it fail. And that is really, really important. Continuous availability, we mentioned, that is a big one. It's big because it's a huge market with great margin potential solving significant business issues and there are limited competition in this space it's zerto and carbonite who are the particular owners of this market space and one of those is struggling quite badly right now and is a great opportunity for us to go in and we have a super product in that space and that whole off-site cloud protection piece you'll start to hear people talking about air gapping that whole idea of taking an air gap or a physically different location or media from your existing, um, probably twice replicated data set at the moment, 
And we've got a really effective proposition around three, two, one, three copies of the data, two locations, one air gap. So that is a fantastic conversation piece and door opener where we can do that with one single product and solution. So those are our silver bullets. And remember, it's enterprise class backup for SMB prices. That's the key message that we want to be talking to you and your customers about. So to conclude, can you just have a think? Can you identify just one company? One person you can take this to. Uh, we've refreshed our money for meetings, actually. So now, if you, if you can identify and deal reg, engage us, and move to a proof of concept, we're offering up to £350 um, in incentives for you guys. We've got a fantastic um, Veeam takeout um, promotion as well that will be moving forward based on bigger Veeam deals, where we can offer you 50% margin. In addition to that, we guarantee to be 50% less than Veeam's renewal. So there is a huge amount of money to be made for that. And also, we offer free appliance promotions too. So, you know, that has been the core of our business. I didn't talk about it much. That's been a massive strength and growth for us as an organization. And we continue to offer that in order to make sure that we differentiate our proposition, we get in front of customers, and we make it utterly commercially compelling for them to invest with us. And you make great margins doing it too. And just one more thing. COVID's still with us. We might get a second wave. I've heard we might get up to seven waves. I don't want to be a doomsday merchant, but I'm hoping it's not as bad as it has been. But we've got some great stuff there to help you with your customers. Free Sophos software that we're giving away. Free endpoint protection. Free cloud backup. Loads of assessment and tips and, and expert insights all via our continuity center as well, which is available online. So hopefully that's given you a great flavor about what we're about. It wasn't a product presentation, but hopefully you now know, okay, I can think of some compelling use cases. I've got that. I know where to look. And I know that ArcServe and CMS are going to look after me if I find that opportunity and bring it to the table. So thank you very much and uh, happily open to any questions now. Yeah, thank you very much, Bruce. I, th and I, I thought that was that was excellent, and I hope that everyone that was on the call um, has given you something to think about. I mean, the the ArcServe Channel team um, over the last five or six years has probably trebled in size. Um, the end user sales team has more than doubled in size as they as they've been you know growing as a business. That's just in the UK. Um, so, you know, I certainly I want to speak to every one of the participants that joined the call today and we'll be reaching out to everyone to have a chat um, starting from, you know, this afternoon. Um, you know, hopefully we can get some some more conversations and, and go into some of the products in a, in a bit more detail with with you guys. I mean, if you've got any questions, there is a, a chat function at the bottom and a QA and a section as well. So, yeah, there we is do. one. We do have one question. Um, is the Veeam promotion also running against other competitors like Veritas and Acronis? Uh, yes, Veritas. Yes, Veritas. Uh, I think there's one over there, but I'm not sure it's Acronis. Okay, we'll get back yes, to it in detail. And I can confirm that as well. It used to just be Veeam, but now it's been opened up. Uh, and Veritas is an obvious one to go after because they're in a whole heap of pain at the moment. So, yeah, totally. Um, um, I've seen one up here, a, a gentleman called Simon White. Um, yes, that's what I was just about to say. Yeah. Would you like <laughs> to brilliant. talk through that? Because it's a very, very good um, bit of advocacy, really, I guess. We're going to have to pay the dude. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so having read it just now, oh, fantastic. Would you like to take through that, Laura? Yes. Um, so the um, open statement, I suppose, is, hello, Bruce. I have only just started working with ArcSurf via CMS, and I have to say that my experience has been absolutely fantastic. I had a customer using um, your competitor's product, and when I spoke to Matthew and Chris at CMS, they talked me through how ArcSurf could help, and in just over a month, we closed a 20k deal. I also have created another op of another op on the back of successful engagement i also enjoyed the space and agreed um agree they are very generous indeed 
Crikey, can someone screen grab that? Because I think I'm going to throw it into the presentation. That is excellent. Thank you very much, Simon. That is, that is uh, perfect yes. advocacy for we'll, your channel partner. We'll sort you something out for that, Simon. Thank you. So. Yeah, absolutely. Send him his money. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, very, very happy to take any of the questions if you've got them. Are we able to do it live? Are we able to open up the mics or uh, are we reliant on um, typing it? I don't know. No, I can open them up right now. Just hold on. I'm not anticipating anyone to, by the way, but you know, um, we're here, so happy to help. Okay, well, either I answered everyone's questions or um, everyone's a bit shy still um, after all these months uh, sat behind the screen. So thanks for that. Uh, I don't know if you wanna wrap up, Chris. Um... Yeah, just I'll just reiterate again. Yeah, thanks very much, Bruce. Thank you for everyone that that joined joined the call today. Um, I'm sure you've got some some things to think about, or I hope we hope we've given you um, a few nuggets of information to to think about. Um, we will be reaching out to you guys shortly just to have a further conversation. Um, so if there's any any if there is any questions, you know, just save them for for when we have a chat starting um, with some of the guys this afternoon. So thanks very much. Enjoy your days. Thank you. Thank you.